What's going on guys, it's your boy Golden Sports bringing you an NBA 2K12 Online Ranked Match. And this turns out to be a very, very, very good game. I go ahead and select the Orlando Magic and he goes, well first he selects the Heat. And um, I go ahead and select the Orlando Magic. I figure, uh, you know, obviously the Heat have a lot of firepower. But they're not too uh, good on the inside, so I figured let me go ahead and get uh, possibly the best offensive big man in the game. And also, <laughs> he's a very good defensive player, so once they start driving, I should be able to get some help from Dwight Howard down low. So, I, I, um, obvious, I mean, I don't feel like it's a good matchup, but I feel like it's it's good enough where I have an opportunity to put my myself in a position to win. Um, just off of Dwight Howard alone because he's that uh, effective offensively and defensively. Um, it just really turns out to be a hell of a game, man. You got to stay tuned for this one. So as the game uh, ends up uh, beginning here in a second, um, my game plan is obviously just feed Dwight Howard, work the ball through him, and um, if he starts to get double teamed or anything like that, just uh, you know hand the ball out. First possession, we give it to Dwight Howard. We let him know that we are going to be inside that paint all game long. And he was your typical player that I've played online. Just shooting a lot of threes for whatever reason. Right there, we got Dwight Howard. Just so nasty. Right over there in the paint. Boom, chaka, chaka. Ends up dunking on the whole team. Eric Spolstra as well. Thought I saw him in his little suit in the middle of the paint. He got dunked on too. Um, right there, LeBron James, nice dunk. Um, he was just chucking up a lot of threes. There was one point where I think I was like two for five for threes, and he was like two for 15. Like he was just chucking up so many threes. But in the second half, he, he cuts that out. He starts uh, playing more efficiently, you know, more smarter. And um, it definitely helped him out a lot. Right there off the inbounds pass, man, we, we got. I mean, I'm off the most best. On the outside, we end up doing a pick and roll. We end up getting the alley oop, the big D Wiggity. Right, man, that dude is an absolute monster in this game. So after the first quarter, we got a good lead. We're up eight. So, um, you know, to be able to be up that much on the heat and him not really surprising me too much on on uh, offense, I feel like I got a chance to really run away with this game. And um, the more and more he started chucking up threes, man, Eventually, some of them started falling, and then he started shooting less, but the ones he were shooting, he definitely shot a better percentage, and um, it, it helped him uh, get back in this ball game. and uh, right here, the second quarter ends, and again, we got a, a, a lead still, and um, we weren't able to add on to the lead, but we still do have a lead, and then the second half was all LeBron James, man, he ends up using him, and he goes crazy. In the second half, LeBron James owned the second half. He went absolutely crazy. As you can see, I still haven't scored yet. He gets down by one. I'm like, okay, I got, I got to get back to my bread and butter, man. Let me bring it down low. Let me give it to Dwight Howard. Play slow. Right there was a huge three right there to put me up six. Give me a little bit more confidence as he's uh, coming back. Um, right here, look. <laughs> I could have swore he was going to be a lot closer than what he really was. He ended up calling timeout. I mean, plus he started doing his own replay. He's basically letting me know that that right there was BS. He can't believe how far he made it. Um, I seen him from my peripheral as Dwight Howard got the ball. I thought he was going to come more inwards. So as soon as I gave it to him, I just chucked it and it happened to fall. You know, what are you going to do? That, that's that Russell Simmons. I know you guys be doing that, right? What are you going to do? My wife got me doing that nonsense. <laughs> but uh, right there's an offensive three seconds. And again, LeBron James is just owning the entire Orlando Magic defense. Right there, he strips it just straight from the middle, and then he goes up top, and he makes it more of a ball game than what it should have been. You know, I'm missing shots, he's making shots, and it's getting frustrating. You know, I do not want to give up this lead. I do not want to lose this game. So when I got the ball, you know, as you can see, I'm down, but, you know, I'm still taking it to the rack. I'm still, um, you know, shooting close shots. But right here is off the inbounds pass. Now we got Dwight Howard off the alley-oop, and we end up uh, regaining the lead. And then, uh, I believe like the last 40 seconds, LeBron James left the game with a, with a foul. Not left the game, but he left the quarter. Oh, never mind. No, yeah, yeah, he left the quarter. So, um, and I was able to go on a nice run in the third quarter with him there, like the last 30 seconds. Um, as you can see, man, I'm down. 
I mean, I'm up three, but LeBron James is just going crazy. You know, he's hitting threes right there. It's a tie ball game. Right here, Turkoglu in the corner, and we end up, luckily, he ends up making that. Then we got Redick on the other side, he ends up missing, but we end up getting the put back with jail. And uh, we don't pull away with this game, just due to the fact that LeBron James was making everything. The dude was absolutely on fire. And we got a two point lead, we go back to Dwight Howard. Um, right here, we got him in the post, we end up giving it to him, and this right here was absolutely just, I mean, um, coming up in a second, you'll see. Um, look at LeBron James is doing what he wants, man. He's very, he's being very difficult to stop right here on a fast break. Ends up dunking that, and um, again, he's making it closer than what it should be. You know, when I need to make shots, I'm not making it. Right here, just look at Dwight Howard on the inside plus the foul. The dude is just absolutely beastly. Once he gets inside that paint, man, he's so difficult to stop. And I don't even know how to do post moves. I'm just, you know, holding left and holding up, and he's just spinning and, and you know, putting the ball in. Um, right here you see LeBron James gets the strip outside the D-Wade and he ends up taking the lead with a little under 30 seconds with two points so what do we do? We go to Howard they double team, we go to Hidu Turkoglu I mean uh, JJ Redick ends up banging the three and now we're up by one which is huge so he has the ball, he ends up missing we end up barely by the skin of our teeth pulling away with the victory I think what caused them is that early lead that I had within the first couple quarters. Just him shooting so many threes. Why do people do that? You know what I mean? I shoot threes too, but I'm not shooting more than, you know, 12 a game. You know, I'm bringing it to the inside. I don't know why these guys don't do that. All they do is shoot threes and shoot threes, which is crazy. And last game I played, I was 9-1, man. I think my son went on the line and must have played a game or something like that because I didn't, you know, lose because I record, you know, all the 2K games online. But anyways, thank you for you guys. Time, guys. Let's go for a sign. Give it to me, baby.